Hey, it's 9.03 p.m. Eastern Time on December 10th, 2017. My name is John Disk, and this is the Crypto Update. down with that y'all come on now you can do it yes sir uh huh yeah you got this uh huh come on sister Ooh, yeah wiggle them shoulders baby mm hmm Enough dancing, man. Let's be uh, let's be normal here. We're gonna zoom out on out like that. And make things all nice and awesome. Y'all wanna look at my city hitter? <coughs> mm hmm. You ever see a crypto website look so pretty? No, you haven't. Wow, look at this market, 90% healthy, 90% in the green and only 10% in the red. And actually, it says Ethereum is in the red, but it looks to me like Ethereum is perfectly even from this time yesterday. And for the first time in the crypto update history, we might have 100% perfect health. How you like that there's a random coin. Here comes the top volume coins of all time. Not of all time. That's craziness. Top volume coins in the past 24 hours. Um, for you new folks, that means the most buys and sells. The most uh, purchases. The most action. The most action. The most people involved. Bitcoin is now back over 16,000 smackers. How you like that, man? Just a little bit, though. Don't go celebrating 16 too much right now. It's only up $26 from 16,000. Actually, it's up 16 and three quarters percent from this time yesterday. And that's because we rock, man. There's no doubt about it. We rock. Uh, having a great week and a superb month. Yep. Awesome. Not the month of December, but the last 30 days have been, I mean, awesome sauce, man. Yeah. Lots of people getting rich out there. Lots of people getting ahead. Lots of people happy. Lots of people smiling. Ain't too many Bitcoin knockers who actually own Bitcoin. You ever notice that? Mm-hmm. Litecoin comes in second place and wow over a hundred and fifty dollars and sitting at one fifty one forty four go Litecoin up five point three seven percent on the past twenty four hours. A little bit of volatility it hit what what it hit it hit uh wow it hit one fifty five sixty two. That is an all time world record for the coin of light. Ethereum is in third and volume, and, you know, why does it have to say in the green? Why can't it, like, be gray or something? So we can have 100% great health. Bitcoin, or Ethereum is not up or down on the day. It's at 0%. So it's the exact same price it was this time yesterday. Or 24 hours ago. Yeah, this time yesterday. Uh, not having a good week, but having a good month. And again with the volatility. Yep, same time as Litecoin, so something must have happened right there. And you know what it was. I can tell you what it was. You guys want to know what it was? And this is what it was. Uh, people took their money out of a lot of coins at exactly... Um, can't see 12 noon today and this includes um, myself 
um, they took a lot of money out of the altcoins and um, they started hanging around and waiting for the Bitcoin price to rise and it did and they got into Bitcoin so the Bitcoin price rose too but look they're buying it back a lot of people were waiting for Ethereum to tank which it, I mean that's not a tank um, it's not a tank whatsoever but it did go down and they bought it right back up so that's a good sign it's a sign of a very healthy market and they're not going to let their favorite coins tank so um, good for Ethereum good for Litecoin IOTA is also up 7.69% uh, sitting at what is it sitting at? Four hundred and twenty dollars. No. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting the iota mixed up with with someone else. This is four dollars and twenty cents. <laughs> if iota was at four hundred and twenty dollars, uh, hell, I would have. <laughs> yeah. Never mind. <coughs> See it? See it good now? That's when they all decided to hang around and get into Bitcoin. Yeah, Bit uh, Bitcoin Crash is up uh, 7.67. Sitting at 1361 dollars and 29 cents. It's not very nice to call it Bitcoin Crash, you know. And it's trying to compete with the coin of bits, but didn't quite get there. Ethereum Classic, the hard fork of Ethereum. $27.03, up 10% on the day. So, having a very good day. See that? Same dip. Monero, the Hustler's Coin. Up 5.79%, having a decent week and a very good month. Same dip. Ah, uh, Dash. Yes, Dash. Oh, we have a new, not a newcomer. One, there's a coin, and it's back on the top ten. And um, it's been a long time since we've seen it. Dash is sitting in eighth and up five point eight seven percent, and the price value is seven hundred and two dollars and twenty six cents. Same dip, same time. Zcash, um, yep, Zcash, hang on a second, I want to see something, yeah, Zcash is back on the top, um, $303.72 and up 4.11% on the day, let's see if we have the same dip and buyback, yep, same dip and buyback, same time. Mm -hmm. That's all that money flowing out of the altcoins and going into Bitcoin because, well, the pros know when Bitcoin uh, is hitting a good buy pattern and is ready to buy and is going to shoot up for many reasons, not just, you know, the altcoins gets, gets tiring after a couple of days. If you're actually trading coins and you're not in love with it, you're just using it for a fast trade. And try doing that 10 days in a row and see see if you don't get sick of doing it. And you're going to get sick of doing it. And you're going to want a, a break from it and some stability. And if Bitcoin is showing a great pattern, you're most likely going to cash into uh, the coin of bits and go take a nap. Or a 10-day vacation or I don't know. A heroin binge, whatever you like to do, we can do it. Um, yep, same. Dip. Repel, the banker's coin, plummets down to tenth place. <laughs> I'm just kidding, it didn't plummet. I think it was in ninth uh, yesterday. Uh, 23.3 cents, and that has not really gotten anywhere because the banks won't let it get anywhere. And um, there you go. And that is the top 10 volume coins on the market. Who got knocked out of the top 10? Uh, that would be EOS, the ICO. Um, 
still 177 days from being an official coin. Bitcoin blackmail is overhyped bullshit. Attempts are rising, but knowing is pain. And that's the truth of the matter. Uh, the news takes these stories and and they overblow them, and, you know, because the news works for Wall Street. Um, and they don't want money coming out of Wall Street going into Bitcoin, so they like to trash Bitcoin. And they, they like to say, if you own Bitcoin, you're going to get blackmailed. You're going to get held ransom. You're going to, you know, you're going to, if the world is going to end, then you're going to be dead. Um... It does happen, and it is on the rise. Attempts to blackmail, to hold people for ransom, to... You know, there's people saying, there's a bomb in your building, and if you don't pay me one million dollars of Bitcoin, I'm going to set it off. <laughs> and, and the public is learning to say, yeah, right. Okay, we got to do a fire drill. Good, we get to go smoke a cigarette. And uh, that's the gist of it. Attempts are up because anybody can do it. Um, but it doesn't work. I think it only worked in one or two cases anyway. And they found those people and they put them on the news. Where do you think Bitcoin will be this time next year? Sammy Wilcox. Uh, I don't have a crypto ball, Sammy. I don't. I can give you indications of a very 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 healthy market um, I can guess and say this is why I think it um, and I guess that's what you're asking for so I'm also guessing that you're talking about the value of Bitcoin as far as where it will be it will be on the exchanges um, it will be in people's wallets. Um, you know, that's where it will be. Uh, at what value? If we go by the past 12 months, uh, Bitcoin has rose over 1,000%. Okay? That's with a major dip, a major crash in July, a major crash in... September and a major crash in November to adjust. These are normal adjustments that happen um, when rises go too fast and too far. There's a sell-off. There's greedy people that say, I'm cashing out and I just want to get my hands on this money. And so um, the market adjusts. It, you know, it tanks and then it's people look at the price and they say, damn. I can get Bitcoin for this. I'm getting in right now. This I've never seen a better deal in my life. And so it gets get gobbled all up and it goes even higher than where it started crashing at. And that's how this volatile market works. You just have to have patience and you have to ride out the storms and, and eventually everything is peaches and cream. <coughs> so anyway, back to your answer. It rose a thousand percent, over a thousand percent. In 12 months. And um, if that trend continues. And I think it will actually get better. But we'll just keep it at a thousand. And this time next year. The value of Bitcoin will be around. <sighs> over. One hundred thousand dollars. Now here's the big reason. I think it will continue. Less than 1% of the American adult population even knows what the hell crypto is. But they're learning new stuff every single day. And they're asking questions every single day. And they're talking amongst themselves every single day. And this is happening more and more and more and more. And what is it? Where can I get it? What can I expect? All these questions... And if the right person answers them and actually educates them on what Bitcoin is and how they can keep themselves safe and get in and not get eaten up by scammers, um, they're in. 
So if more and more people are interested and more and more people are getting in, that the market has to keep rising. Okay, so the demand is higher while the supply gets lower. Naturally, it, it has to rise. Okay? It has to rise even more than it's been rising. And this is the whole concept of work. Proof of work creates higher demand and the way the code was written less supply it has to go up it's freaking brilliant man. it is absolutely Satoshi Nakamoto was absolutely freaking brilliant and he knew this was going to happen and he forecasted this he saw this he saw well into the future he thought you know, a hundred years ahead, a hundred and fifty years ahead, a thousand years ahead. And um this is what he did. So these so little people, you know, the trash men and the and, you know, the blue collar workers who go out and bust their ass and get laid off, um, they'd be protected. And they'd be protected from Wall Street thieves, from the manipulation of the dollar, they'd have somewhere to save and put their money and actually grow and have a chance to get financially secure this time next year and the date is December 10th 2017 and you can all write this down I am saying right now Bitcoin value will be at least $100,000 and that's if you know, government intrusion doesn't come in and just screw everything up. Okay? Thank you for your question, Sammy. Uh, Rodney Weinstock, one of my favorite questionnaires. <laughs> Tone Vase is a Wall Street guy, and I can't figure out why you rank him so high. Um... He's brilliant. The guy is absolutely brilliant, but that's not why he gets ranked so high. There's brilliant people in the crypto industry. There wouldn't be in the crypto industry to begin with. Um, what separates Tone from most other crypto heads is his honesty. At all costs, he will tell you the truth whether you like it or not. Um, he might be wrong sometimes, but this is what he believes with his heart and soul is the truth. And it's not based on anything more than researching what he's talking about, learning about it, and asking questions about it, and getting all angles of it, and, and putting all the math together, and letting the public know. Tone could go on steam it right now and make sixteen thousand dollars in this first post like Jeff Berwick did um, but instead he chooses the truth and how can you not respect that and he's taught me so freaking much that they, they, no one else except for maybe Richard Hart and Jeff Berwick himself come even close to him and no one. And it's his honesty. That's what separates Mr. Tone Vase from all the wannabe Tone Vases. And that's my take on that. Peace, love, and understanding to everyone. May you all get mega filthy rich and use it to make the world, not just your world, the world better place for all of us my rant is over and the crypto update is 